In the previous video, I've come to the conclusion that S-Log3 is the preferred color profile also when shooting in low light. So, what's my workflow for exposing S-Log3? And I'll also give you a little secret, that's not a secret at all, to get good low light footage. And that starts with the settings. Firstly, we choose the Cine EI mode, because that's how you can change the exposure of what you're seeing on your monitor without changing the look of your actual footage. Which can really help you for quickly getting the right exposure. Then we select the highest bitrate, which is XAVC I. And lastly, the noise reduction setting. I opt for mid because it's a good middle ground, but the settings off, low and high definitely have their purpose, but more on that later. And then, of course, select the high base ISO because otherwise you won't be able to see that much. Now, for my test setup. Yes, I've put up a few lights, but they're all at 1, 2 or maximum 5%. And note that those at the higher percentage are very small RGB lights. To show you that in fact it's a low light scene, here's ISO 800, 12800, 800 again, 12800. So I hope that you agree, this is a low light scene. Now that we're all set up, we can start shooting. As you can see on the monitor, it seems that we're overexposing a bit, which is actually what we want. But when we change to 8000 EI, it's starting to look much better. The only thing that we're changing is the exposure on the monitor itself. As you can see, the footage itself is not affected. So that when you create a good looking image on your monitor at 8000 EI, we will end up with a slightly overexposed image in post. Even pulling down the shadows a bit already creates a nice looking image in my opinion. A bit of noise, but not distracting. The look I like is a bit darker, a bit more moody, so I usually bring down the exposure quite a bit, which then gives you a very clean image without almost any noise. You might say it's a bit dark in my opinion, and, and I agree, but that's an important note when shooting in low light. You don't have to see everything. When we're shooting a scene at night in a forest, we don't have to see all the leaves on the ground. It's important to just create a realistic looking image. Now, analyzing the image a bit further, we still do see a bit of noise, of course, in the shadows, but they're not distracting and even realistic looking. I do like them and usually leave them in post. But there are a few options if you want an even cleaner image. You can set the noise reduction in camera to high, but do know that it will affect your detail and sharpness. A better option is to clean it up in post with some noise reduction. As the noise is not a dirty color noise and it's more like a grain, with even a slight noise reduction it cleans it right up and you have a very clean image. But now onto my main tip, which is actually just get as close as possible to the light source. Because yes, an FX6 with a high base ISO will give you a more correct exposure in a dark situation than, for example, a Blackmagic 6K. But both will look much better when you move closer to the light source or you move the light source towards your subject. So overall recap, just try to get a realistic looking image, move your subject as close as you can to the light source, and monitor between 6400 EI when you don't have a light source in the frame or maximum 10,000 EI when you might want to save a bit of those highlights. Just make sure it looks good on your monitor while shooting it. On the FX3 it's a very similar workflow, just give it a bit more light, so try to shoot at 6400 EI, 8000 EI maximum, because you cannot change the noise suppression settings in the FX3. And that will be it, I think. Ciao!